Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm Simmer 22. We're back here on Elm Creek with Grover Games. As you can see, our beans are ready to harvest finally. So we're gonna get that going today, and then as soon as we get it done, I think this I think we're gonna head back and start field 47 first. But you know, we might Yeah, we're gonna do some maintenance on the combine here. So let's get this pulled out so we can pull the combine into the shop here and fix it up and we're gonna we're gonna end up planting our winter barley out back here make sure we got that oh uh, wheat barley okay we're gonna be planting winter barley out back Let's get, but first we're gonna fix up the combine here quick so that way we don't we don't have any necessary yield loss just cause of our equipment not being maintained. Back that up in here. Look at that repaired. We'll start heading out here and getting harvest started. So I haven't looked at anything this morning. I figure with us doing beans harvest here, it'll keep us plenty busy. It'll be interesting to see what the yield is like on these beans here. Right? But right now, the other thing I should look at too when we start getting down, going down the field here. See if there's anything for sale in the equipment market. Granted, we can't afford, really afford much right now. But you know, it never hurts to look. Huh! Look at that. There's a used Kenzie six row planner on the lot. I'll have to give a Chuck call here. And we got a slurry tanker for sale, but that six row planner is exactly what we were thinking of buying here. So you know what? The only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bump that up to 10, put some row markers on it. And we're going to pick that up. Oh, accidentally had a helper started. If you look at that, we... We finally got something off the used market after a while. And you know what? It was something that we were actually looking for. What are the chances of that? Well, now we got a... We got a six-row no-till planter. So next year, I think we're going to plant, plan on planting some sunflowers. We'll probably end up planting it in the, some of the bigger fields, I think. Yeah, I think we'll end up planting sunflower next year is what I'm going to plan for. I'm trying to think what else we should be planting, because if we're going to be doing for, field 47 into... Well... Maybe we'll do field 46 and 45 here into winter barley instead. I don't think we need that much. Then we could leave 47 alone. And then 49 and 40. I think 47 and 51 we'll do on, we'll do on sunflower next year. I think that's what, what our plan will be. And we'll just plant this field into winter barley. And the other field will either do sorghum or soybeans next year. Maybe sorghum, just because it yields a little bit more. Speaking of which, we haven't even really looked at the market yet either today, so when we start going back on our other pass up the field, we'll take a deeper look into that. But what are the chances of that, that we actually get the, get the planter we're looking for? Now the only other issue is I have no idea where we're going to park it. Might have to look into investing into a little shed or something here soon too. But let's see here. Finish this pass here. Then once we get started, we'll we'll take a look at the markets, see what see what they're doing. I don't think sorghum or anything will be ready to sell yet. But you never know. 
will check targets. Oh, I always get this menu all confused. I shouldn't say confused, just not used to it yet, even though I've been playing for a while. Uh, sorghum's getting up the hair, but not quite there yet, so hold off on that. Eggs. Oh, they're getting up there, but we could probably wait for another month before we can really sell the, worry about selling those things off. Other thing is, have we gotten any harvest contracts to come through yet? Does not look like it, but we got a few sewing contracts that if we need some extra work to do, we can pick up a few of those. And you know, we need to kind of open up open up our custom work as well, since we got a row crop planter now, we can help pla actually plant other people's fields. Granted, with it being a six row, it's not terribly big. We might not do that too often, but at least we'll have something else for for us to harvest in the next coming years, which is going to be a nice feeling to add a little more variety to our to our farm. But we'll jump into the time lapse here. We'll get these beans harvested. Then we're going to get our we'll get our uh, winter barley sowed down, and we'll go from there. So we'll see you guys at the end of this all.
sweet redemption I will never let you down Will it ever get funny? Oh, I wonder, honey Baby, how you make me sway You say you will I'm calling your addicted friend You say you will, yeah I'm crossing the obsessive line You say you will I'm calling your addicted All right, everyone. I think this is where we're going to start wrapping up the episode today. We got we got quite a bit done. We picked up a few seating contracts for the neighbor, which is going to get the cedar put to work since we it's got to start paying itself off. And nothing wrong with doing that. I wonder what the dog is doing way out there in the field. But we're gonna we're gonna pull this into the yard, and then we're gonna end the episode. We're gonna go pick up our new planter and bring it home too. It's kind of Kind of funny how that fine worked out. I was definitely not expecting to find 
find a use planner for us, but you know what? In the end, it's going to be better for us. Then next year, we'll just have to... We'll have to invest into all the little six-row head or whatever. I can't even remember how much it is. Let's look here quick. We'll look here in a second. We'll go hook up the planner first and we'll check. But we got our... We got our winter bar winter barley in and you know we'll be able to use the next time we come through the recording we'll be able to get our I'm pretty sure it'll be at the stage where we can start fertilizing it and we'll be able to we'll be able to use that crop sensor as it should and see how it actually works and we'll be able to see how many points we actually get to our whole environmental score speaking of which I should look at that quick here before we end the episode as well Grab the. I forgot that we had the tank of herbicide sitting here yet, so we'll grab that as well. Got that in there. That strapped down. And I was gonna look at. Actually. Looks like our sheep are getting to the point where they're starting to reproduce again, which is good for us. Our big sheep barn will be filled up here, get pretty full shortly too. So let's see here. Corn headers. So it's a, looks like a five road head. That's interesting. Usually it's like five or it's four or six, always evens, but. That's going to be the only header we can really run in that combine, I think. I don't think it can handle running this well, this one here. Maybe it could. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll look see if there's some other options out there for, for our size to combine for that. But we're going to get this planter hauled home. I have no idea where we're going to store everything yet. But all I know is that with this planter... This planter here, we'll be able to, we'll be able to put in the ship, the like, sh oh, the shop area itself. It's just that I don't know where else we're gonna keep the rest of our equipment, because if we put the, actually, I think we could fit the drill into the, into the barn. Now that I think about it, <coughs> excuse me. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll just plant, put this, park this back in the shop, and then we'll be able to park the. Hopefully we'll be able to pull the drill into the barn. Now that we got this no-till planter though, my question is, is it worth hanging on to our, hanging on to our, uh, can't even think of it right now. Hanging on to our, oh, gosh, why am I struggling with it? Excuse me, I had to mute the mic there. I was coughing really bad. I wonder if we could... I wonder if it's worth hanging on to the... This carol anymore. I mean, we don't really have a use for it. Especially since we're going... Pretty much exclusively no-till now. Especially with all our equipment. I wonder... Oh... Where... Da, da, da. Our own equipment. I wonder... 12 grand. Oh... Uh, we hauled it in and talked to Chuck. I'm sure he'd give us a little bit deal, better deal than us selling it out, right? Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get rid of that because, like, don't really have a use for it anymore unless we pick up tillage contracts, which we still could do once in a while. I don't see us doing that, that too often. And the other thing we're gonna check is our environmental score. Hey, look at that! We've got up 76 points. Oh, I didn't mean to reset. That's fine. I want to see. Oh, why? Accidentally reset that field, which is not a big deal. Oh, okay. Four hundred. Oh, I'm curious. 
about Why is that not showing our environmental score now? I wanted to inspect that some more. Let's look at our soil maps here as well. Looks like overall we got some pretty decent ground. Field 51 is the only questionable one. What is the soil type there? Let me see it. Okay, that would be why. There we go, we got our environmental score pop up now. Why? Why did that one go up higher? Hmm, interesting. We haven't done anything else with it either though. We planted, it, so we drilled this field. Why is that score so much higher? Huh. It's odd to sit here and play with this round a little bit and figure it out, but if you guys enjoyed the episode today, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you stay up to date on the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching. <laughs>